Hey everyone, Mr. Newman here, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a few other word problems of the format AX plus BY equals C. So it's important to notice that those are going to look like this. Um, well, let's get started. Six hot dogs and three sodas cost a total of $11.25. Another family bought two hot dogs and two sodas for $4.50. Well, we need to circle the question. The question isn't all the way down until C. So we need to sometimes look outside of just the, what they give us to look for the question, how much does each item cost? Well, in order to write our variables, we need to know what the items are. So let's underline, I see hot dogs and sodas in the, uh, are the items we're looking for the cost of. And it's also very important for us to notice how much each item costs. That word right there is very important. So our two variables are gonna be the cost of a hot dog and the cost of a soda. Again, I didn't wanna use S for soda because it looks too much like a five. Feel free to if you want to, but I chose A instead. Now, I want to underline cost because that is the important part of this. If I say H is a hot dog or H is number of hot dogs, well, they already know how many hot dogs are in the two situations up there. So that is not what we're looking for. Our variables need to be cost of a hot dog. All right, write the equation. Notice six hot dogs and three sodas cost a total of 11.25. So I know it's going to be one of the total equations. So six hot dogs plus three sodas cost a total of 11.25. Now this 6H does not just represent six hot dogs. It actually represents the cost of six hot dogs because six times the number of, uh, times the cost of each hot dog is gonna be the total cost. And that total plus the three sodas needs to add to 11.25. Likewise, they give us uh, two hot dogs and two sodas is a total of 450. So two hot dogs plus two sodas will total to 450. Now we just need to solve the equations. I'm gonna multiply the bottom equation by negative three. That will line up the hot dogs to eliminate out as a variable, and you'll see here. So let's also rewrite the equation in red, just so I have them right one on top of each other. And when we add up the hot dogs, six a, negative six a and positive three a gives us negative three a. Add up the cost as negative 225. When you divide by negative three, you get each soda costs 75 cents. Well, that's reasonable for a soda. All right, right here, then we, I'm gonna choose any equation. I'm gonna choose the green equation because those coefficients are the smallest. And let's plug in what we know. We know A is 75 cents. So now we're just solving for H. Divide by two and we get each hot dog is 150. Remember, we have to finish with a complete sentence answering our question. So each hot dog costs $1.50 and each soda costs 75 cents. I also wanna think about it and go, hmm, does that make sense that a hot dog costs more than a soda? Sure, those seem like reasonable prices. We can't always guarantee they will, but since those prices seem reasonable to me, that gives me a little more confidence that I got the right answer. Let's try the next problem. A family buys three t-shirts and two hats for $43. They go back to the store and buy five t-shirts and three hats and it costs $70. So how much does each item cost? Well, that, that's gonna indicate our variables, which are gonna be t-shirts and hats. T is the cost of the t-shirt. H is the cost of each hat. Let's write an equation. The family bought three t-shirts and two hats for 43. So three times T plus two times H is 43. Also, they go back and do five t-shirts and three hats for $70. So 5T plus 3H equals 70. Now to solve this, notice there's no numbers that line up real nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at H and I'm gonna eliminate H by multiplying the top by negative three and the bottom by positive two. That way we have negative 6H on top and positive 6H on the bottom. Let's rewrite those down here. I'll just rewrite them like that. And so when I add these together, it's negative 6H and the positive 6H add up to zero, which is what I want, how I want to eliminate it. Uh, notice I'm using elimination because I think it's the easiest for this type of problem, but you could also use substitution if you want to solve for one of the variables and plug it back in. Graphing is also trickier as you need to solve for Y most likely to make it uh, a quick method. And you notice when I add these two together, this is why we teach you guys all the methods. Elimination is definitely the fastest way to go here because we already have t equals 11. That means each t-shirt costs 
Hmm, that's reasonable, so we'll keep going. I'm going to choose the red equation because it has the smallest coefficients. Let's plug in t that we know is 11 and solve for h now. Subtract 33 from both sides. Now divide by 2 and we get each hat is $5. T-shirts costing $11 and hats costing $5. That sounds possible and reasonable. So let's write that out as a complete sentence. Each t-shirt costs $11 and each hat costs $5. Thank you very much for watching.